She's just given us a negative result. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. That's our doctor. Thanks. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> Just chilling out on a Saturday night. Sean's having a look at some um, some bars we can go to tomorrow night. That's it. That's our positive. We're getting out. We're we're positive. We're positive. We'll be out tomorrow night. So, yep. Sit back and relax. Hello. Come mm, later today. Well, it's um, day six, and what can I say? I had my hopes up that I was going to be leaving today. Unlike some people, Sean, he's fucking, he's fucking leaving. He's got his certificate to leave. But um, out of my three tests, um, two are negative, which is good, and one is positive, which is keeping me here. So what can I say? I'm fucking stuck here till the doctor said at least Wednesday. So that makes 9, 10, 11, 12, that's nearly 13 days in captivity. So yeah, fuck it, I just want to get out. I'm fucking, I've had enough now, I'm so bored. I fucking, so anyway, the university said they're going to be sending us some um, netbooks with some internet. So hopefully we get that. And um, apart from that, we're just going to lay here and just fucking wait till I go um, negative. Well, it's um, goodbye to Sean. See you, mate. Sean's got his ticket out of here. And um, as much as I love him, he's gone. Look at that. Certify that Mr. Sean Gillard has been passed for a two-day result showing negative without any H1N1 virus detected. Sweet. Can't even buy that in this hospital. So that's it. This view for another another week, I suppose. Finally, after fucking six days in hospitals, I can use fucking chopsticks. Look at this. Yeah. 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 Mm. Fucking good, eh? Okay, it's day seven and. Yesterday, Sean got out and I thought I was going to get out. The doctor didn't promise me, but he said, look, you guys, you know, you'll be gone tomorrow. Anyway, it's Monday now and day seven and I've still got my hopes up to get out on Wednesday. Uh, hopefully, because out of my three tests, um, two are negative and one's still positive. The one that's still positive, I really, I really want to find out what what's keeping that positive. Anyway, uh, I had a meeting with the doctor this morning and, you know, like I said, she said, um, you know, you're gonna, you should be out on Wednesday. So, um, SOS and Curtin are supposed to send me a laptop and some reading material on Sunday and I haven't got anything yet. So, look, I've, I've got the TVs in China, Chinese, I can't watch it. I've got no, I've just got nothing. I'm just fucking so, so bored. Anyway, I'll um, speak to you tomorrow on day eight. So, yeah. Right, so this is day six, and um, quarantine's really getting to me. So, what I do is um, I pace up and down here for an hour each day, just to um, just to keep my muscles moving, and just to um, just to really waste time. 
so I can um, get to sleep and um, wake up tomorrow morning and do the same thing again. So, yep, I just pace <laughs> up and down here. It's, um, yeah, it's only for my exercise because I'm not allowed out in the corridor. So, um, if I walk out of there, uh, <laughs> the staff and security are not happy. So, yep. That's that's my room and yep 121, 122, 23, 124, 125. Look at this. You know we deeply appreciate your support and cooperation in the ward. 29, 30, 31. So yep, that's that. See you later. So I've got dinner. This is uh, what are we on? Day six or day seven? Fuck, I don't even know now. Um, but one thing that really fucking frustrates me. With the Chinese, number one, they don't give me forks and knives, chopsticks, okay, I've learned to use them, but the main thing I don't like is that they don't give me a serviette, but we, everyone, <laughs> you need a serviette, so that's that, and um, yeah, it's um, rice and vegetables and whatever that stuff is there, man, I'm so hungry, man, <laughs> anything for barbecue shapes, cheese shapes, oh my god, I love my shapes. <laughs> Anything, man, I'm just so hungry. Hello everyone, it's um, day eight, and I've got like sponge cake for breakfast. So happy, finally get some sugar. So anyway, today I'll get my results. Um, it's gonna tell me whether I'm positive or negative and whether I'm gonna stay here for another three days or not. So I'll update you at noon, so hopefully I'm out of here, but but I haven't got my hopes up. But I've got my hopes up to get out this week, but if I don't get out today, yeah, so. I'll keep you updated at lunchtime. See ya. I just got the news that I'm negative and I'm out of here. Bags are packed. Bags are packed. I got my Barocca and I'm out of here. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later, toilet, see you later, shower. Hopefully, I never have to fucking see you again. Goodbye, room. And I'm just so happy to be out of here. <laughs> I've been 11 days in quarantine. This is my eighth day in the hospital. I am so happy. <laughs> it's so good. And um, I've just been thinking about it, right? It's a curse. I'm under a curse. Three years ago was when the wall dropped on me and I broke my nose. Two years ago, I rolled the truck and nearly died again. And then this year, um, all within a period of two weeks, as soon as I finish uni and I start my um, mid-semester break holidays, within those two weeks, everything happens. And this year, I've fucking got swine flu and, and uh, I can't believe it. I'm under a curse. Anyway, I'm so excited. Hopefully, I can get home and I'll be home tomorrow night at um, uh, 11 p.m. Cannot wait. I'm so happy. So yeah, I'm heading out, and this is where I've been, Detan Hospital. This is where I've stayed. Third floor, I think. They say, I don't think so, it looks about fucking, well, this is about fifth floor. But yeah, look at this. I don't think they finished that part over there. It was like run out of money or something, but it's kind of like the hospital's just built in a uh, slum. Anyway, this is the corridor. First time out here, right? And there's everyone else stuck in here until they get there okay. So um, that's it, I'm finally out of here. I'm just waiting for the, um, the doctor who wrote my certificate um, to say that I'm okay to leave. He spelled my name wrong. He put friends in Nelu. It's friends in Nelu, right? So he's sorting that out for me. Now I've come out of, and I've just, uh, just got my hair cut. And now I'm getting my nails done. Thank you, Curtin University. Thank you, Shishi. <laughs> this is so good. Thank you. <laughs> I love this.